Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. The United States Department of Energy may be preparing to abandon the Yucca Mountain Project. Sound familiar? Well, it has been said many times in the past. Now, the Review-Journal's Keith Rogers is checking reports that the DOE may be ready to abandon the licensing application that's been pending before the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. More in print and online Tuesday. Got some Monday night events with complete Review Journal coverage. Andre Agassi signing copies of that eyebrow-raising autobiography. Got photos and video on the online multimedia pages. And the World Series of Poker Championship with the 10 p.m. Monday start. What a matchup. 21-year-old Joseph Keda of Michigan squaring off against 46-year-old Darwin Moon from Maryland. Only eight and a half million dollars on the line. Second place isn't bad though more than $5 million. The Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles gave out a brand new license plate Monday. That's not a whole lot of news in and of itself, except for it was the first of a kind that you'd think that no one would really set out to get. It's for families who've lost a loved one to war. Review Journal Capital Bureau Chief Ed Vogel asks several questions about this in printed online, like is there really a demand for that kind of license plate? Hey, here's hoping you're not one of the first people to use the University Medical Center Hospital's main entrance that was dedicated Monday morning, at least as far as being a patient is concerned. The Review Journal attended as hospital leaders showed off the project. We learned Monday of the death last week of a champion of rape victims' rights in Southern Nevada. Florence McClure was in her 80s when she died Thursday. McClure co-founded a local rape crisis center. The Nevada Women's Prison in North Las Vegas is named after her. Her funeral set for Wednesday. Speakers to include State Senator Bob Coffin, former governor, former U.S. Senator Richard Bryan. Ahead of Wednesday's Veterans Day Parade in downtown Las Vegas, got a look for you at some of last year's festivities, courtesy of Cox Cable and YouTube. <laughs> Review Journal military writer Keith Rogers has more on this year's event for you in print and online Tuesday. Vegas Lands, Doug Elfman here now with a preview of his Tuesday Review Journal column. Hey, Doug. Hey, Nate. So in tomorrow's Review Journal, I am hopefully talking about uh, Andre Agassi because I'm supposed to shadow him for the rest of the day on Monday. So I'm going to write about that late Monday for Tuesday's Review Journal. And we'll get into his book with all of those crazy things that he wrote. That's in Tuesday's Review Journal. See you there. You can always catch all things Elfman, including columns, blogs, and photos at lvrj.com slash Elfman. Time for RJTV Sports. What a cool event scheduled for Tuesday evening at the Thomas & Mack Center. It's the 20-year reunion of the only college basketball national championship team from UNLV. The RJ's Matt Humans catches up in printed online with one of the many stars from that special team, Larry Johnson. The Manny Pacquiao-Miguel Cotto mega fight set for this Saturday at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. The Review Journal's continuing coverage leading up to the fight includes a Tuesday preview of the resilient Mr. Cotto. Well, the past several Tuesdays in the RJ Sports pages have included 20 questions for a UNLV football player. This week's no exception. It's a chance to learn more about the player's off-field life. This week, get to know tight end Kyle Watkins. Your weather, well, we're having an on-again, off-again mix of sun and clouds throughout the week. Daytime high is going to stay a few degrees above normal in the mid to upper 70s with overnight lows around 50, lasting through the Veterans Day Parade. But then, breezy conditions Wednesday night and Thursday welcome in a cooling trend into the weekend. Check out those numbers. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.